Hey everyone, it's Jeff with PeptideCritic.com. We've got Randy the Research Rat right here. And today I wanted to go over uh, a couple of the differences in these reusable pens because um, I just got these V3s in uh, for uh, Randy's personal stash. Now, all these pens do the same thing. They have a uh, cartridge that you can swap out um, you buy these separately sealed, sterile, and you fill them with your research compound or your rat. Uh, the reusable ones are great for a lot of reasons. Um, the biggest one is you just use a little four millimeter uh, diabetes needle, choose how many units, and it's an accurate delivery. So we have three pens here. This is called a V2. This is also called a V2 and this is called a V3. Now, there's a few differences, but two of these are almost the same. Um, the V2 here is the original V2. Um, you'll notice it has a different uh, dial mechanism. Um, the band here is bigger. And the most notable thing about it is you have these numbers on here and they're see-through uh, with lines. And those lines have turned out to be very accurate. I wouldn't just to show you like an estimation of what's left inside uh, in the research that we've done with Randy. Um, then we have a V2 as well. This is the newer V2 and this is what you're going to be finding uh, on our website. And, uh, this uh, has a smaller uh, uh, silver uh, band right there. And then you'll notice we have these numbers in blue without etched lines. Still, you can see where it is and uh, I like them better. The, uh, ooh, the um, mechanism here uh, also feels different. Um, these tend to feel, these older ones tend to feel a bit spongy, still accurate, but they feel a bit spongy. They feel nicer when you're like pushing on them, there's nothing inside. These, however, uh, don't, they feel terrible. Uh, you can't just go click, 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 unless there's something inside of it. And once you do that, they work flawlessly and it feels better and it's easier to uh, deliver like one unit at a time for something like NAD, which doesn't feel great. So this is, uh, this is the V2. This is the current V2 that is being manufactured uh, and that, uh, you know, we sell. Now we have a V3, quite literally, it's the cap. That's it, that's the only difference. And for that reason, I I'm, I'm, we're not adding these to the store. Um, this injection molded piece is slightly different. I talk directly to the manufacturer uh, far too regularly because I'm a nerd for these pens. And so is Randy. And uh, they said that they just changed it because of, uh, because of an aesthetic uh, choice. And that's it. The mechanism is identical. And the numbers, everything inside of it are identical. And I can even go as far as just switching the caps. I wanted to, whereas these aren't interchangeable, won't click. So if you have one of these older ones, you don't need to get a new one unless you want a different color. Uh, we're sticking with these V2s. I don't think it's really necessary to have this little, to make it actually look like a pen. Um, and then case wise, these are just a little longer. Um, people, some people still buy the V1s and they actually have this older spongy mechanism. So for that reason, I don't really like those. I like these ones better. Um, and the big thing is they're accurate. So for that, I'm gonna show you how accurate they are. There's gotta be a point to every video. It's not just an advertisement. So here we have an easy touch syringe. Uh, push 20 units into it. I'm gonna set this 20 units. Okay. And all we do, press. And just like that, 20 units. So, you know, this is, this is just the easiest way to do your research in the morning when you're half asleep and uh, you're, you know, injecting AOD 9604 into your rat. Um, and you need to do it fasted without coffee in your system, because uh, that's what some research protocols call for. Anyways, um, 
These are for research use only, not for use in humans, <clears throat> They're for use on your rat. Anyways, I hope that answered some questions. Um, we have been getting asked uh, if we have the V3 pen. Technically, we don't because they don't come with this cap. Otherwise, yes, we do. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is what Randy uses, but it's nice to have it in red. So, can't get this from us, but we can't get it anywhere. <laughs> so, hope that answered some questions. And, uh, yeah, until next time, happy researching from uh, myself, Jeff, and Randy, the research rat at peptidecritic.com.